also as I pan around here now you will now see that it's displaying on our main screen now that in itself is not magic a lot of people do that but the interesting thing is that now we can go in and actually adjust our spreadsheet and that information that we can see displayed on the main screen is going to be updated automatically and so for example for our upcoming classes we have astro astronomy and astrophysics space and plasma physics medical physics and AMO physics and so we're going to change those names and you will see what happens so let me just go through and do that and so first of all let me just give you a close up so you can actually see that quite clearly so now we're going to change some of this data and give you an idea <coughs> so we're going to update the upcoming classes and one of the classes that we had there was AMO Physics and so we're just going to now change that to read Physics so you can see that down the very bottom of the slide there for a moment while it's displayed so I've now removed AMO and now I'm going to save it and we'll see now on the slide coming up that now it reads just Physics and I might just change one of the other ones as well so let's now repeat that particular class so the one before it was Medical Physics and so now we're just going to call it physics and I'm just changing this literally on the spreadsheet and there you go you just saw it change the on screen as it was being filmed and so I haven't imported any of that data into PowerPoint simply just changing it on the spreadsheet uh, the instructor we have for class PhD 108 by Tom Barker in room 116 we can change that so we're going to change that name of the lecturer who's uh, delivering that one and his name is going to be Kevin Smith and again I'm going to save the spreadsheet and when that comes up uh, on the next slide it's going to change the different names so there you see down the bottom we have Kevin Smith now and you would have seen just above it was A. Williams well, in actual fact, our Kevin Smith is a very clever chap, and he can actually teach that CIS class as well. So let's just put him and schedule him into that roster, and now we're going to save it again. And there you saw, actually just momentarily while it was on the screen, Kevin Smith is now doing CIS in room 112, and also teaching PhD 108 in room 116. Now I just hope that they, those two classes are not scheduled at the same time. So that's one of the powerful things that we can do on this particular software. So you can see here where we've got physics and physics, which is also being displayed automatically on the screen. But let's uh, just change that to chemistry, uh, for example. And uh, we'll just go and save that. Now on the main screen that is now reading chemistry in that particular spot. And we've just got the other ones here. Here's the one we had uh, to Kevin Smith uh, teaching in room 112 and 116. And that will be like that. So let's now call that R Brown. And again we will save that. And let's go and have a look now on the main screen on those two areas. And we'll just uh, pan around on that. And just to reduce a little bit of that flickering, uh, we've uh, enlarged it. So we're now we're reading physics and chemistry as the last two classes. And... Uh, down the bottom there we can see Richard or R Brown so that's how simple it is so I imagine this could be a flight schedule could be a financial report 
could be any sort of data that you want to have displayed uh, regularly and you don't want to have to keep updating uh, and creating new versions of the PowerPoint slide. Simply just create the first page or the pages that are required to show the template and the information depending on the amount of information you're wanting to display and then simply just update it on your spreadsheet and it will automatically play. Hope you found this interesting and look forward to sharing another little piece of insight on how we can help you with our solutions and software.